We're joined here by UNLV redshirt sophomore for Delaney Byrne. And Delaney, thank you for taking time out of your day. Thanks for having me. Well, you know, you're a transfer from Minnesota and, you know, I got to ask, you know, you sat last year and everything that went on in the off season with COVID kind of, you didn't know if you're going to play, but now you've got an idea on a scale of one to 10, how excited are you just to be able to play basketball again? Um, I don't know, probably like an 11, you know, <laughs> sitting out for sitting out for that long. I mean, practice is great, but there's nothing like actually being on the court in a game competing against another team with fans and all that. So, Well, it's kind of a two part question here. You know, first off for yourself, you know, the year off, uh, how did you become uh, a better player? Um, you know, working a lot with, well, first of all, last year in practices, being on scout team a lot just kind of allowed me to develop my game on multiple levels and being able to learn different systems and different teams in conference and non-conference and just developing all different skill sets and being able to play wherever the scout needed me to play. And then just working in the off season, doing a lot of individual skill work um, here with the new coaching staff and back home has just, I think, benefited me a lot. And the second part to the question, you, know, you, you touched on it being a scout player, a practice player. It, not, not every job that a player wants to do, but for yourself, you were that for the entire year. How did you make your teammates better? You know, just always competing and, you know, it doesn't matter if it's a position you want to play or it's not, you just go hard regardless. And, you know, you try to kind of give them tips on the side about like, okay, well, this is kind of what I'm being told to do and this is how um, it'd be better to defend it or better to play against it type of thing. So last year, you know, sitting watching all those games, I know it's it's got a it's not a real cheerful thing to have happen to you, but how did you kind of overcome the negatives of, you know, not being able to play? Yeah, for sure. I think it's just kind of looking ahead, you know, and knowing it's just a year and you're developing and still being part of the team helps immensely, you know, still involved in practice and outside of outside of basketball just really helps. And then just being able to see your teammates succeed, both in practice and especially in games, just it keeps it keeps the motivation there and the excitement there. Now, for the Lady Rebel fans out there, there obviously this will be the first year that they get to see you play. How would you describe your game? Um, you know, I'm working on being more versatile. I love to shoot the three, um, like to push the pace. So I don't know, do what I can, but just I like to have a exciting style of play, I guess. I got you. Well, hey, nothing's more exciting than a big that can do <laughs> right. There you go. Yep. <laughs> so you, you know, you, you mentioned being a, a stretch stretch four. Um, how can you improve the offense from last year to this year, kind of stretching out the field? Um, I definitely think, just like you said, stretching it out and being able to, you know, shoot from the outside and transition, but also being able to create mismatches down low just helps because not every defense knows how to defend that in every situation. So it, it's almost kind of in this day and age that you need to have almost a big that can, can you know, not, not say Steph Curry range, but you know, at least hit 30 to 35% from outside the, the arc. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think that that's big for Coach Lindy as well, is just getting as many people on the team to be able to stretch the floor and shoot threes and shoot deep as we can. And it's harder to guard and I think it's more fun too. <laughs> so, you know, practices have uh, started back up uh, with the new head coach, Lindy LaRock. Um, you know, how, how have they been so far and how would you describe uh, kind of the new coach's mentality out there? Yeah, they've been great. Um, super high intensity. Um, really a lot of attention to detail, but keeping it fun at the same time. Everybody's having a great time and learning lots of new things and getting better, so. Uh, for yourself, uh, what are kind of the big goals that you uh, have in, in store for you this year? You know, just to get back out there and become the best player and the best um, teammate that I can be and just contribute in every way that I can for the team and help get wins. And lastly, you know, for this team, uh, you know, a lot of question marks coming into this year. You know, obviously new coaching staff, uh, some players that graduated, TT and RJ. When you look at the roster that's there right now, what is going to be the key for them to be successful this year? I think a lot of it comes down to chemistry. Like you said, it's, it's a pretty new roster. There's a lot of pieces that have 
um, that we've had to fill and kind of learning how to play together again. I mean, we've taken so much time off, so. Well, Delaney, thank you for taking the time out of your day. I'm really excited to see you play out there, and I know all the Lady Rebel fans are as well. Thank you so much.